this is day 26 of the vlog challenge. We only have four more days to go, so I hope you um, have enjoyed them but are probably relieved to have these done as am I. Um, anyway, um, if you're a photographer, you may have noticed that I am using a different lens to film these. Um, I was using the 51.2, but I got a new lens. I got the 35 1.4. So what that means if you don't know what is, it's a photographer is basically it's a wide angle lens so you get a lot more of this so it's not cropped into like this. Anyway I had bought the lens before I went to Ireland because I wanted a good wide angle lens for all the scenery pictures I knew I was going to take but unfortunately it came the day I left after I left. So I shot everything um, all the pictures you see from Ireland that I'm going to post on this blog post, or maybe Monday, I don't know, whenever the pictures go up, um, with the 51.2. So, the whole time I was there, I was just feeling so frustrated that I didn't have a wide-angle lens because so much of their landscape is just so grand and wide and everything. Um, however, I do feel like the advantage to that is that it required me to edit in camera and um, to just really focus on the most important part of the scenery. So although a wide angle lens would have been awesome, it forced me that more isn't always better. It's just to be super strategic in where I stood and what I focused on and how I um, composed the whole shot. So there was no room for cropping. <laughs> um, I didn't crop or edit anything in the pictures you see um, as far as, um, like I didn't take it really wide and then crop it in or anything. Everything is as I took it. Um, also, as far as the pictures go, I did very, very little editing. Um, I didn't enhance color at all. Um, I sharpened a couple things very slightly, but even hardly sharpened. And the reason for that is because Ireland is so green and luscious and colorful. And when I did any kind of editing to it, it almost looked, made it look fake. In fact, I feel like the straight out of the cam pictures already almost look fake because Ireland is just that gorgeous. But um, just in case you were wondering, almost all the pictures you see, I can't think of which ones wouldn't be, um, they weren't actually edited. So, um, and that's, I tried to get my settings right, but really thanks goes to Ireland and God who made it. So, um, he just really made it beautiful. So I didn't really have to do all that much to take a, a picture that looks good. So anyway, there you have it. I have a new lens, 35. Um, I'm going to be doing an engagement shoot here pretty soon that I plan on using that along with the 51.2. So got a new lens and hopefully you'll be seeing more pictures of that but until then just uh, learning to make it work with what you got so that's what I did in Ireland with the 51.2 and now I'm rambling so I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.